you look at that threat in terms of Lamar and Derek, that's almost like two running backs in one, obviously, because you've got Lamar who can move the way he does. I think that offers a lot of options for what they're going to do. I do believe that the Ravens are a championship caliber team. They were so very close, and I think if they do get back, they'll stay more within their identity. What Lamar Jackson has done <laughs> since he's been in the National Fo Football League has been one of the most dynamic quarterbacks, both passing and running the football. You make the, op the option that defenders have to choose between is let Lamar carry the ball or let Derrick Henry carry the ball. It's kind of a pick your poison situation. What I love about their defense at all three levels, D-line, Justin Matabuki. Linebacker position, Roquan Smith. Then they got the wild card at the safety position and Kyle Hamilton. You know, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into the Baltimore Ravens at this point because as we all know, this recent offseason, they really did do a lot to make this team even better than they were in the previous year, which is kind of crazy to hear out loud considering how good they were last year. But they did add a lot of pieces and we finally got to see a lot of those new pieces play in their first preseason game and to be completely honest with you man I was extremely happy with what I got to see. They looked like they have a chance to live up to all the expectations that everyone has for them and if they're able to do that that's when this team really starts to get scary because they become a complete team that I would not want to have to play against if I was anyone else. But before we get into why I exactly believe that if you like Baltimore Ravens content just like this make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Ravens videos as we get closer and closer to the regular season. Okay, so to get right back on topic with the Baltimore Ravens, this team, like I said earlier on in the video, did have a really good offseason, and they also were already really good, which is exactly what you want to see from a team that has a chance to contend. You want to see them go out there and try to get even better so they give themselves a chance to go deep in the playoffs once again, and I think that's exactly what the Baltimore Ravens have done. They had a great draft, and they had a pretty good free agency period, and when we're talking about this team and their first preseason game, I think we have to start on the defensive side of the ball. When it comes to the Ravens defense they of course aren't going to have Mike McDonald calling the shots this year but I really do think they're going to be just fine with Zach Orr in his spot simply because he's going to run a lot of similar stuff. I mean if you kept up with any of the coaching cycle stuff this year you saw that many teams are interested in hiring Zach Orr so the fact the Ravens were able to maintain him as their defensive coordinator was a really really big deal and I think we're going to see those benefits pay off in this upcoming season and it should allow the Ravens defense to be just as good if not really close to his good as they were last year. But as we all know, you can't just have a great coach. You got to have a lot of talent on the field. And man, oh man, do the Baltimore Ravens have that. In the Ravens' first preseason game, there were two main guys that I was looking forward to watching because I think these two guys are going to be the key to the Ravens' success if they can live up to expectations. And those two guys are Trenton Simpson and their first round draft pick, Nate Wiggins. The Ravens, of course, drafted Trenton Simpson, not this past year, but the year prior. And he was expected to take over a linebacker spot whenever they decide to move on from one of their main guys and when they decided to move on from Patrick Queen this offseason that meant that Trenton Simpson had to fill in his spot and I was extremely happy to see if Trenton could do that but even though I was excited to see it I didn't know if he was going to be able to play as good as Patrick Queen did but in the first preseason game I was honestly extremely happy with what he was able to do he looked a lot more experienced than I expected and he also looked really athletic while being able to get in the holes and fill in those running lanes and make some good tackles and that's really all we want out of him. I mean, he's going to be playing against one of the best, if not the very best linebacker in football right now, in Roquan Smith, so he doesn't have to be the greatest linebacker on the field. He just has to be a good guy to pair with Roquan, and I really do think he's going to be able to do that. Not only was he doing a great job at doing his job and filling in running lanes, but he also didn't do a terrible job in coverage either, and that's something that's going to benefit the Ravens in a big way. We already knew he was a great athlete. We just need to see him put it on the field and actually show that athleticism, and I think he did a lot of that in his first game and I think we're only going to see him get better as he's able to get more and more snaps going forward. And man, if he's able to continue to get better and he plays to the level that I think he can, this linebacker room is going to be one of the best linebacker rooms in football once again, just like they were last year to go along with everything else this defense has. Now, when it comes to Nate Wiggins, he's a guy that I thought was an absolute steal whenever they were able to draft him super late in the first round. And I think he showed that pretty early on in this preseason game. The Eagles tried to attack him and they tried to throw the ball his way, but for the most part, he was absolute lockdown, and on top of that, I also thought he made a few good tackles as well, which is something that a lot of people
people were worried about. He is a smaller guy and he doesn't weigh a ton, but he still found a way to come up with some tackles. And if he can be a decent tackler to go along with how good he is in coverage, he is easily going to be one of the better corners in the league, which is crazy to say considering you already have Marlon Humphrey on this team. That's going to make up one of the hardest corner duos to throw the ball against. And with Nate Wiggins' athletic ability being so crazy, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being better than Marlon Humphrey, but obviously we're going to have to wait and see. But as far as those two guys go in their first game, I thought they did a great job, and I really do think they're going to be huge pieces in how good this Ravens defense is. I mean, you already have a pass rush that's going to be really good with Odafe Owe, Kyle Van Noy, Travis Jones, and the absolute freak Justin Matubike, who had double-digit sacks last year on the interior, so you should be pretty good there. And then you also have a lot of other great players in the secondary, like Marlon Humphrey that I already mentioned, Brandon Stevens, who played pretty good for you last year, and then at safety, of course, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, and that guy, Eddie Jackson, that you went out and picked up. So when you look at this defense as a whole, I think it's pretty clear that they're going to be able to put up great production once again, and they're going to be able to do what I said earlier on in this video, and hopefully be able to replicate what they're able to do last year, because if they do that, that's when this team really starts to be scary. But as we all know, you don't just need a great defense if you want a contending team, and when you look at what the Ravens have on offense, I think they're going to have that as well pretty easily. Of course, we didn't get to see a ton of starters in this game because you don't really need to. You kind of already know what you have. And that all starts with that guy, Lamar Jackson. Lamar is, of course, coming off an MVP year where he played absolutely out of his mind. And I don't think anyone can argue that he wasn't the best quarterback in football last year with all things considered. And I expect him to come into this season and be able to play in a similar fashion. I know that's pretty high expectations, but we're going into the second year of Todd Munkin's system. So we should see this offense be able to be even more creative than they were last year. And if that happens, Happens, it's only going to open up things even more for Lamar and put him in an even better position to have success. But even though Todd Munkin is a great coach and we know he's a great play caller, you still need players to execute what you want to run. And the Ravens added an absolute freak this offseason to help him do just that. And that guy's name is Derrick Henry. The Ravens already had one of the best rushing attacks in football last year. So to go out and add a guy like Derrick Henry almost secures that you're going to have the best rushing attack in the entire NFL. And that is just something that's going to make everything on this offense works so much easier. You can run play action off of it to get guys open downfield more often. You can use a lot more motion to confuse the defense. And if you add all of that to an offense that has guys like Lamar Jackson, has guys like Zay Flowers, has guys like Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely, you're going to put up a lot of points week in and week out. And that's exactly what I expect. I don't think there's any reason this team shouldn't have a top five offense in the league to go along with a defense that I also think is going to be a top five unit. And if that happens, like I said earlier on in the video, this team is going to be a contender once again, and we will see them deep in the playoffs with a chance to go all the way. But of course, that's just my opinion, so I'm still curious to know what you think of the Baltimore Ravens and how their first preseason game went. So let me know everything you're thinking down in the comments below. And with that said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.